Kia ora. I thought I'd take up question four uh, because it's a particularly tricky one involving a concept called limiting reagents. Basically, we're given the quantities of two of our reactants and we're trying to figure out how much product we'll make. It will depend on which reactant we run out of first. It's like if you were trying to bake something and you only had a bit of flour and a ton of sugar, the small amount of flour you have limits how much product or baking you can do. So uh, we're going to figure out which of these reactants will limit how much product we can make. And basically we're going to use the exact same steps we did in the other class when we were looking at stoichiometric ratios. We need to first convert mass to moles. That's generally the first step in any of these problems. We've got to convert mass to moles. So we know that. Um, let's choose a better marker. Moles is equal to mass over molar mass. So for carbon disulfide, let's plug in 152 divided by uh, 76.139, and we get a really nice number in the end. It basically rounds to 2.00 moles. So we get a nice number to work with. Let's do the same with uh, the other reactant. Moles is equal to a mass over molar mass, so 48 divided by 32, because there are two oxygens, not just one. Um, and we get another nice number, 1.5 moles. Okay, so you might think uh, perhaps it's the oxygen that limits uh, how much product we can make because 1.5 it's smaller than 2. Uh, we need to figure out how much product we can actually make with each of these amounts. So let's consider carbon disulfide. If we had 2 moles and unlimited amount of oxygen, let's find out how much product we can make. So we're going to imagine a scenario where we have unlimited amounts of oxygen, how much product can we make just from this limited amount of two moles of carbon disulfide. So we need to apply our stoichiometric ratios now, which is generally step number two in any of these problems. So we, we're going to convert moles of carbon disulfide to moles of SO2. And we see that it's a one to two ratio. There's one mole of that, two moles of sulfur dioxide. So we're going to find that we can form four moles of uh, sulfur dioxide from two moles of carbon disulfide, simply by doubling it, uh, assuming we have unlimited amount of oxygen. Now let's find out, if we had unlimited amount of carbon disulfide and just this amount of oxygen, how much product could we make in this second scenario? So once again, we're going to apply the stoichiometric ratio between oxygen this time and our product. So it's a 3 to 2 ratio. So we're going to need to take this number of moles and multiply it by 2 moles of sulfur dioxide for every 3 moles of oxygen. And we're going to find that we can only make 1 mole of sulfur dioxide. So. This tells us that oxygen is the limiting reagent. It's the thing we're going to run out of first. We can only form one mole of sulfur dioxide, even if we had unlimited amount of carbon disulfide. This thing runs out first. So uh, in this scenario, we can only form one mole of sulfur dioxide. Let's finish the question by uh, calculating how much mass that would be. So mass is equal to moles times molar mass. So that's simply one times the molar mass of sulfur dioxide which is about 64. So we're going to get a mass of 64 grams. And that's the final answer.